Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to talk about play and what I'm anticipating in a very short term. Okay, so uh, by the looks of the chart, it does look like it's trying to form a little W pattern to the upside. As you can see on the Bitmark chart, it looks like it's trying to form a little W pattern to the upside. On the four hour, we have a bullish MACD cross that has just taken place with the momentum slowly pushing to the upside. Obviously you can see the, uh, you know, the divergence is all the way down to the downside. You've got the momentum has been bubbling up in an inverse W shape on the downside. Now what we hope to see is a very strong push to the upside. And why do I think there could be a strong push? Okay, now player hasn't bounced yet. And if you look at the altcoin market, a lot of them had bounced and had V-shaped recoveries after Bitcoin decided to go to the moon, so to speak, and um, drag the uh, altcoin BTC pairs down with it. Okay, so right now I want to look at the Bitcoin dominance. All right. Now, if you don't use this uh, Bitcoin dominance chart, it's, it's good to, to use this and, uh, to make a, a prediction about where the, the altcoins are going to go. Because if you see Bitcoin dominance falling like that, I mean, this is basically the answer to why we've been seeing the altcoins run so, uh, you know, so crazy over the last few months. OK, so you see Bitcoin dominance on its way down uh, when that's happening. You'll see a lot of money flowing out of Bitcoin into the altcoins. Uh, now you can see uh, we had this crazy pump, you know, over the past uh, couple of days, which has caused, you know, so that's the Bitcoin dominance increasing, which has obviously caused, you know, money to flow out of altcoins and back into Bitcoin, thus seeing the price of Bitcoin rise. But what you can see now is you're, you're getting a bit of a rejection here off the off the rainbow, which has brung Bitcoin dominance back down slightly. So you see that consolidation money flow back into altcoins and you get these v-shaped recoveries all right now obviously with bitcoin breaking a key level right now at 10,500 i did say yesterday that it could potentially get a retest back down to about 10,500 potentially okay before going back to break 11.5k and up to towards 14k and then potentially there's, there's not much resistance at 14k so then potentially up to around 20k but well, I'm not here to trade Bitcoin, I'd rather trade altcoins and make lots more money um, because trading altcoins with no leverage is like trading the foreign exchange with leverage, uh, in my opinion. All right. So if Bitcoin can't hold the 10.5 level anyway, and this comes uh, tumbling down, uh, Bitcoin dominance comes tumbling down, I would assume that money is going to flow back out of Bitcoin and into the altcoins. Um, and when people are, are considering altcoins at a price point like play with the chart uh, finding support around this level let's just mark that out for you with the chart finding support around this level uh, it does look like a good place to buy and I would assume that uh, a lot of people would be seeing that as well especially with the popularity uh, that's picking up with player as well um, the chart looks ready for you know an injection all right so if bitcoin dominance does continue to fall we can see a lot of money i believe flowing into altcoins like play thus seeing you know a bit of a uh, a bit of a pump uh, to the upside now obviously what we want to see is we want to see um a new high another good thing to look at is the volume so let's go back out so we can uh just do that Let's go back out so we can get our drawing, uh, our trend line tool up. Okay, so what I'd like to see right now, you've seen the decrease in volume. Okay, decrease in volume. And no, it's not uh, as pretty as I would like it to look, but nevertheless, decrease in volume. And now we're starting to see some bullish volume uh, begin to push through this line to the upside like I say with the bullish MACD cross along with the RSI a double bottom on the RSI on the 4 hour so yeah I mean definitely could see a swift move to the upside very soon uh, we need to take out this level take out that level higher high 
higher low and a higher high to the other side. So that's what I'm thinking about Claire. Um, obviously I'm front running with this forecast at the end of the day. Uh, sometimes you gotta plan ahead. Some people say that the technicals don't work out on, on low liquidity. Uh, um, uh, cryptocurrencies but you know at the end of the day the technicals do work and I'll tell you why okay now if you look at the way the volume previously was okay the, the choppy action this is not a good time to be doing TA okay there's no point in doing TA on all of that all right obviously this is what they're talking about but when you start seeing decisive price action okay you see the volume increasing yeah this is a key indicator right this along with the candlesticks yeah is a key indicator of the liquidity that's coming into this market of the buyers that all, all this is is people people buying and selling buying and selling buying and selling buying and selling so all it is tells a story okay so the story is being told from here right from here to here okay this here is the action okay this here is the volume all right so yes you can do technicals on this if you've been watching my videos over the past week or so you'll see that the technicals have been working out just fine all right and uh, hopefully they will continue to work fine further all right bullish might be cross our side double bottom turning to the upside volume decreasing so we need to see a volume spike and it will break out of this 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 level and yeah it's going to bring a lot more buyers into the market as well okay so yeah that's player uh guys just a quick one this morning um if you haven't subscribed already please do let me know what you think in the comments where do you think players going if you think it's going to go up let me know in the comments guys and i'll see you again in the next one